Alrighty, and welcome back, guys. Craven YGO here. I'm um, here to again talk about my dinosaur build. Um, I went to locals. I was technically a sneak peek for po the power of the elements. Uh, booster box came out. Um, four rounds. I went two and two. Um, but on the good side, I two one each of my uh, or one and two each of my losses. Um, so I at least put up a fight, and we're eight. We're we're on the cusp of, you know, doing better. Um, in round one, I very easily could have beat my round one opponent. Um, game three, uh, my opponent set up a board. Um, I believe I baited in a gate, and then I set up mine. Uh, I think it was like with three minutes left uh, on the in the forty minute round. Um, I had him down to 30 seconds, and with seven or eight cards in my hand, I decided to uh, set a Scrap Raptor. Um, and on his turn, he went into access code, blew up Bloss War, or blew up mine, and then blew up um, uh, the Scrap Raptor, and then hit me for 8,300 because he had went into Boral and uh, Boral and uh, Dragon before that. Um, so that put the access code up to 8,300. Fortunately, it was just like one swing and it was done with like 10 seconds left on the clock. Um, kind of sucked overall, but shit like that happens. So I'm going to learn from that. And next time I'm just going to continue to set spell and trap cards, I guess. Um, really the only way that that panned out. I mean, I definitely could have beat him round one. Uh, round two, I don't even remember what I played. All I know it was a 2-0 blowout. Uh, round three, I lost to a Cosmo player, um, David from Locals. He's I get all my cards from him and everything. Uh, he was pretty cool. Um, first time I'd seen that one up close to personal. He just beat me in the damage step. I mean, that is what it is. They just swap around and attack. I mean, that just he broke my board and hit me. I mean, it is what it is. And then I do believe I 2-0'd a branded player in round four um, for a 2-2. Um the build is the same, also slightly different at the same time. Um, you have your standard three OV, three baby. I'm only running one Annie now and one Misk. Uh, I was always running one Misk, but one Annie. That way um, I'm able to fit in a little bit more um, opponent shutdown interaction and one UCT because going second, which is what this deck is, um, I caught a lot of people off guard doing that by going second when they, you know, they're, they're focused on everybody going first to set up that overpowering board. And then um, they have to, you know, your opponent has to play up from there, which I did I did do the combo to um, a couple of players at the tournament, which I'll show you um, here in a little bit. I changed the combo up a little bit, just the ending, um, but the combo I created, uh, it, it just it sets up and the opponent can do nothing um so you know basic dino setup package gotta run the scraps and the one chimera um for the combo to work you have to run those and then i really hate running them but to swap out cross out in the main i put the gammas back in um and that's only for the hand trap coverage i used it once um, defensively, I think on an opponent, they got to, oh, they got to, uh, oh, what was it? I can't remember what it was. I think it was a D-Link. Uh, crap, I can't remember. I don't remember, but I hit it, um, and it stopped their play. That was the only time I used it defensively. Every other time I used it, or offensively, I used it, uh, that was the only time I used it offensively. Defensively, I used it. Uh, to cover my plays a couple times, that was really nice. Ash, they would try to ash it and then hit it with that, and then, you know, go into your combo with that because it really, by making Dagda and Halky Fibrax, you really don't need anything specific to Dino. So even if you like, if you nib your opponent, because like I, I cited in the one nib that I run sometimes, just like uh, I ran, I went against uh, Punk branded Dragon Link in the first round. Um, I cited that in for them just to have it. Didn't do anything, but meh. Um, but yeah, that, those are the monsters. I'm also go over the combo a little bit later, show you guys that again. Um, for the spells, triple fossil dig, pretty standard. I am running. I know you guys are gonna hate me. 
two Mystic Mine. Um, I got three, but I'm only going to run two because I feel like three is super bricky. Um, and then three Lost Worlds. So I'm running the one Terraforming, two Mine, three uh, Lost Worlds. So that's four and three. I think that's a pretty good... I would always, like, if I open this and this, I would always search this. Or if I open this and this, I would search that. That way you can start with this if you have to take a couple turns to get your combo or get your cards in your hand built up. And you know you have your combo, then you put this on board and you go to combo. Um, it really just stalls your opponent out. It doesn't really do much other than that. You know, it kind of just pisses people off, but whatever. I'm tired of losing. Um, two double evolution pill. And then also with the coverage package, I'm also running the gammas and everything. I'm running instant fusion and called by. Um, instant fusion just, I, I set up instant fusion on two different people and they just... They couldn't do anything at that point. I mean, like, there's no point to Ash anything that I do because I'm just going to suck it up. I mean, it doesn't doesn't matter. And then call by, you know what it is. Uh, one, one for one. I used to hate this card until um, I realized really what it is. It's just essentially another misc. Um, even if your misc gets stopped, you can use this, you know, get Annie to board, pop the baby, and then you're into your combo. Um, I really didn't like it, but now that I've started running it a little bit more, it seems like a little bit better of a payoff because instead of focusing on cycling the, the one misc all the time, you have more access to it and more coverage over it. And then the super duper expensive three pot, pot of prosperity, um, single handedly the most expensive card in the deck, but honestly, I felt after it, it's much more consistent. And then I'm also running the three evenly matched, and the three storms. So two mine, three storms, three evenly, gamma package, um, and then dinos. That's that's pretty much the build. Uh, we'll go... Oh, let's not do that. Let's not do something yet. We will go into the extra deck now. Um, I tried to make this flip that way. It's a little bit easier for you guys to see because I've noticed that I went back and watched a couple of videos. It's technically flipped. At least the, the board is, and sometimes the cards are. So I try to make it that way you guys can see a little bit better. Um, so we're going to start with Lynx, Link Rebo, Scrap Wyvern, Dagda, Hawk Fibrax, Penistag, Reproducus, Appaloosa, and Boral Sword. Um, this still surprises people. I can't believe it. I mean, I guess everybody's playing Access Code. Um, but, I mean, this, this single-handedly won me multiple games. Um, so, honestly... And then with the combo that I'm going to show you, you can, I did it because I forgot to substitute in, or I forgot to side in the Rex for combo one time. I looked at my extra, or the side deck, because uh, I was trying to figure out what I was going to do, and I wanted looked over and checked to make sure, and it was in the side deck. So I was like, crap, well, what am I going to, how am I going to do that and still set it up um, without the Rex? Because you have to have uh, Adhara to make the uh, Nat Beast with the current play, but you can make the Nat Beast with Reproducus. And then also before you make the Reproducus, I do believe with, cause you would make the, um, what was it? I had the Annie under this, you'd go into the Reproducus, turn the Annie, that way you could make um, the Nat Beast. And then I do, I think it was, you did the Scrap Raptor with the uh, Reproducus, then you would get uh, crap, um, Hockey Fibrax um, in the slot. Then Hockey would activate, you would get the Adhara, and then you're able to make the Dagda. But then when Hulk, you would do... Oh man, what, what did I do? I can't remember precisely, but you can get back into it. I just got to remember the play. I just don't 100% remember it at this point in time. I have to look at that one again. Um, the three exceeds, pretty normal. Uh, Lagia, Dolka, and Dugares. That Dugares is only for going second when you just need that extra on board, but I never made him. Nat Beast, TG Wonder Magician, Boral Sor or Boral Savage, and uh, another big boy, uh, another super duper expensive card that I traded for, uh, Baron De Fleur. Um, I actually got that. I was surprised that I was able to trade somebody enough cards to get this traded, but they wanted to do it. Thanks, uh, JD. Um, but uh, yeah, 
And then the Millennium Eyes Restrict, this is for the Instant Fusion pretty much only. Now we'll go into the side. So for the side package, we're running the Triple Cross Out, one of each of the main hand traps that hurt the deck, uh, Imperm, Ash and Nibiru. That's pretty much all I really worry about. Like Effect Veiler and Ghost Ogre. They hurt, but at the same time, like it's only if it catches me without the gamma or something else like that. Um you know, I just didn't really feel it as a huge threat to the deck overall, so I didn't. Um one Harvey Southerduster, and then you have your three combo pieces that sit in the extra deck until I know I'm going first to side in Scythe, Adhara, and the Rex. Um, essentially, really, then the entire play that you do is these three cards, which is kind of funny because I mean you could you could literally do it with just these two. <clears throat> and then I'm also running. The one Annie and one UCT to side in if I'm going first um, and like just need to side a bunch of stuff out. That way I know I'm just going to blow them out of the water. And then triple Dark Road or more. Uh, that's self explanatory, especially for like when I. Because like what happened against the Cosmo guy, I didn't even side in any of the um, the combo stuff and put this in just to try and get him off of his um like the he would just like get through his get through my turn and then go into his battle phase uh and just beat over me so i tried to interrupt him i didn't see it but i tried to interrupt him before that happened um so we'll go into the combo real quick let me get the cards ready two raptor oh i need that and actually, I'm going to need three of those. Evo. Really, it's only a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's only a five extra deck card combo. Really, that's all you, all you really need. Um, but we'll do extra deck here. <clears throat> okay. So any combination. those four and this one in a particular way can work uh also get this muscle world that way i can do a scrap raptor combo show you because that'll work with scrap raptor as well um to get it into baron de fleur and everything um so you know this and this this and this this and these two won't work but these two will work together this and this this and this this and this, you know you know you guys know how all that goes um, any combination of those two, unless if you get this one, then you got to be careful. Um, that's why I'm only running one now because I feel if I see one, it just kind of it kind of blows. So if I only have one in the deck and I see it, the odds are minimal. But um, yeah. Um, so what I'm gonna start with is I like this one because it gives the most protection, um, especially because most of the time a lot of people don't. Don't think about it, even if you add it to your hand off like Fossil Digger or whatever, they don't think about what the miss can do. At least at least the not good players think about it. Um, the, you know, they'll Imperm, Valor, Ash, the Ovi or whatever, and then you just protect it. That's what happened, I mean, like, it's literally what happened. I think two of the matches, somebody, I know one person Impermed it, and I was just like, all right, miss to grave and it's protected. Um, you know, it is, I see why everyone only wants it at one, but I think at the same time for this deck to really compete at the top form, we need at least two. Um, just so you have the ability, like if I could do the going first combo, like focuses 100% on going first, 
hopefully win the die roll, set up the good board. They're not going to be able to get through it because they just you just can't. And then, um, like, able to, or say they even break it, you know, hit me with it, some damage going into the next turn, I'm still able to probably do another combo with the Miz, get into Boral Sword, and still be in the game. Um, but, whatever. Um, so, Mr. A protection. Um, on the summon, you get your search. Uh, also, this is with three other cards in hand. So, you know how this goes. Um, you banish for one. Get your Annie. Annie target. Destroy. Summon another one. Use your OB effect target. Swap from grave. Summon one from deck. Which will be your Scrap Raptor. What you want to do, though, kind of messed up already. I told you guys this last time. I still mess up. You want to make sure you have one of these two slots open. That way, when you go into Rex, which I didn't get out of my side, now that I think about it, where did I go? Okay. Um, I'm going to need these. Um, you're going to want these lanes open for your link arrow under uh, your scrap wiper. Um, so on the raptor summon, you use raptor effect, destroy the baby, bring the other baby out. And this is where you can go into Link Revo, but you don't have to. Um, you do these two for Wyvern, Wyvern effect, bring this back, destroy it. It would be chain link one, chain link two. So chain link one or two. Chain link one, chain link two, or whatever, how it would, two, one. Um, and then destroy the baby. Summon the Rex. Excuse me, I got something in my eye. Um, now, this is the point where you do your... Oh. Yeah, this was the part. Oh, yeah, duh. I'm going crazy. Normal summon the Chimera. You want to summon that up there. Bring back the raptor. I set up what you want to make. Like I said, you want to make sure you summon it under the wyvern. Um, and then you'll do your chimera and rex for your dagda. Dagda effect cannot uh, activate yet because you will go into the hockey firebrax. Hockey firebrax effect and dagda. So you'll set, summon, um, and then at this point you want to, um, I sometimes, like depending on what, really at this point you can make Moral Savage and be solid, um, because you need to, we need to free up a space because I need to get Rex on board. Um, I didn't do that in the tournament now that I think about it. So yeah, you could do Boral Savage, where is... Savage effect to bring back Wyvern. And then you would go your double Evo with Chimera and Rex. Um, for your, oh, I need to get that. Oh, that's not it. Where did UCT go? I wonder if that was one of these cards. Yep, it was. Uh, get your UCT. And then Rex would come back. You do these two for Naturia Beast. Um, and at this point, you are pretty much set at that. Three cards in hand, Oral Savage, UCT, Spell Card Negate, um, not even once per chain. You can literally chain this to, you know, whatever. You could chain it to spell, and they could try and negate it, and then you can chain it to that spell. Um, but on your opponent's turn, they would get an action, and then you would respond with Huck Firebrax Effect. Huck Firebrax would summon TG Wonder Magician. 
TG Wonder Magician effect, pop the uh, Scythe. Scythe goes to Grave, which is then summoned, locking the opponent out of extra deck. And then at the end of that uh, resolution, you would use TG Wonder Magician's effect again to get uh, send that for Barone to Floor. Um, so you have two Omnis, one Flip, uh, Spell and Trap Negate, or not Spell and Trap, just Spell and Negate, um, and there's really nothing that your opponent can do about it unless they, I had somebody target UCT with an effect or something, I can't remember what it was, I think it was a destruction effect, before I was able to, I had to, I had to chain to that to do the TG Wonder Magician, um, so he destroyed this, but I was still able to get Barone on, on board, and then at that point, uh, it was Barone, I think it was uh, Naturia Beast, I can't remember what else it was. Yeah, I like it now that I think about it. When we when I'm at that spot with uh, Ovi and um, Raptor, instead of trying to go into something else, I need to start going into Boro Savage. That way, I just put one more negate on board. Um, so I'm gonna break this down real quick again, and I will go through the ra uh, Scrap Raptor version of it because I run the three Scrap Raptors to. Um, boost the consistency of the deck as well. So let's see if I can flip that over here. Get this all set on. So this one kind of plays the same way, kind of. Um, you guys already know the basic combo for Raptor. Um, Lost World, get a token. Summon the Raptor, opponent gets a token, Raptor targets itself, sends it to Grave. That gets you your Chimera, Chimera Normal Summon. Bring this back. These two will go into Scrap Wyvern. Sure, get it as correct as I can. I mean, this is just that, and I'll just get that eventually. I guess I can just put this up. Um, Wyvern effect would be to bring this back, destroy it. So, chain link one it would summon this at the end of uh, Wyvern effect, destroy that, save it with Lost World to destroy. Baby, oh, there it is. Uh, baby would activate special summoning a skull eating Ovi Raptor. Ovi effect would get you your misc, uh, that would then protect you at that point. Um, then you can do this two ways. Yeah, like I said, the other one you could target that to bring back the baby and do this to go into Annie. Um, but personally, I would rather just do misc to grave to protect. And then banish for two. I mean, I guess that's a weak point, but either way, you're going to have to go through Misk. Um, so banish for two to get your baby. Now you can use Obi Effect to target, swap from grave, special summon one from deck into your giant Rex. You actually come out at this point with one less monster because... In the other combo, we didn't have the baby because it was destroyed to make room for the Rex. Um, in this combo, at this point, because we've already used the Chimera, we don't have that option, but you still have a baby on board, which is still not horrible to us. Um, so at this point, you want to go, I mean, you have to use, I think it was this and this. Yeah. This and this for Dagda, and then you did these two for Hockey, so one, two, set. Summon. 
We would now do the double Evo, vanishing one and two for your UCT and Rex. Those two for Nat Beast. And at that point, we're right back where we were. Um, and they left the token on their board. So that's good. That's awesome. Or er, I messed up somewhere because I still have these two in my hand. Oh, uh, that's where I messed up at. I mean, I guess you could do it that way, but it really doesn't matter. I wouldn't get the double evolution fell, I guess. So where I messed up is when I when I summoned or destroyed the baby and went into Rex, um, I should have special summoned the Animadorn Archsword, destroyed the baby, then the baby brings out the Rex. That's I thought it was kind of weird. I messed it up there for a second, but yeah, essentially. And then you'll have the double evolution though. Um, so my bad guys, it's kind of late. Um, my brain's kind of fried. I've been up since four thirty. Um, so. And then, like I said, at the end of the, or at the end, or beginning of a opponent's turn, whatever, use this effect, target, destroy, summon, then you use these two to go into your Barone. Um, I didn't realize it in the last video at the time that you could go, I'm, and also I didn't have it. Not only that, I wasn't going to, I didn't even think about not having it. Um, it's honestly crazy that I was able to pick it up. It was, I traded in a Dragoon for half of, half of the credit for it. I mean, I guess it's not really credit because it was trading to a personal, but Dragoon itself was half of that trade. Um, so, I mean, I guess I'm happy with it because I'm not running that Dragoon anymore. But yeah, it's definitely formidable. Um, and you still even here have the, have the choice, like, if you use this, it just becomes a beater at that point. You can just make something, if you have to, with all three of them, go into, like, Boral Sword um, to beat over your opponent the next turn. I mean, honestly, this I don't know if I'd get rid of it. It's, it's essentially a paperweight after the one negate. I didn't know it was just one negate, just period. It's not even once per turn. It's just once, um, which kind of sucks. Uh, but at the same time, like, I guess, because there's just no other good, um, level 10 synchros other than this. Um, I'm, I haven't really worked out a hundred percent if the combo will work on just these two, because I haven't had to do it yet. Um, if I open this and just like, like, uh, um, a fossil dig or something, I will always search the, uh, the Raptor. The Raptor and I know make this. I just haven't I haven't worked this play out yet. I know you can do it because I think in this combo you end up with like Ovi Baby Annie. Or oh no no no. It's uh Ovi Raptor Annie. Because yeah, yeah. Because what you would do is you would summon, uh you get the token, this pops you would destroy the baby, summon the baby. This would chart or um Oh, I didn't get also didn't get the search, which would be Misk. So then Misk would go for one, destroy the baby, you would summon the Raptor, Raptor target itself to get the Chimera, normal summon raptor and chimera, and then you could do or normal summon raptor to get the or chimera to get the raptor. You could then link into um Scrap Wyvern with the Chimera and the Animadorn Archosaur, and then you're short just the um, Scrap, the not Scrap, um, Giant Rex, which is kind of detrimental because you can't go into, I guess you wouldn't be able to do it through that route. I say, unless. You went into unless you just used the Raptor and Animadorn Archosaur to go into Scrap Wyvern before you target itself with 
uh, and then that would end up giving you the normal summon and the scrap raptor on board for you to make hockey five racks because that would make hockey you would do okay because you would do then you would do the ov and the scrap chimera to be under the wyvern with oh, now you got me <clears throat> now i gotta figure it out damn it No, this would be engraved. This would be on board. This would be here. No, not here. This would be here. This is irrelevant. It would be there. All right. Um, I think the, um, these would be irrelevant, really. And where is the is? Okay. So how it would work, you'd normal, Lost World, normal summon Ovi, get the token. Ovi would target token, uh, destroy baby. Baby would summon. Off, off the OV, you would search misc. Don't forget that. Um, off the baby instruction, you get a baby. Send for one. Where'd you go? Oh, there it is. Duh. Annie. Annie target baby. You get your double Evo. Um, off baby destruction, you would summon the raptor. This wouldn't be here yet. Um, and then, like I said, these two go into wyvern. Wyvern effect. Bring this back, destroy it. Chain link one, chain link two. Chimera. Uh, Nope, 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 nope. It doesn't work either because I have not destroyed anything with the Raptor yet. Okay. It might be an issue. I mean, I guess I could destroy the Animadorn Archosaur. But then at that point, this these two would just be the scrap wyvern. Wyvern effect, bring this back, destroy it. Get this and this. And then normal summon, because I can normal summon now. Bring this back. It's not. I am not going to be able to get the. Yeah, I won't be able to get the Nat Beast. Minimum. I can definitely get um, Scythe to board. But I would not. Really, it would come down to. Because I can't link off without Fibrax. So this is what I'm thinking here. You would do these two for Dagda. Then you would have to do these two for Hockey Five Racks to get the Dagda effect. So two set Hockey Five Racks effect. Get that. And you have we have to leave this on board to target this and destroy it. I mean, we would get um, we would get the damn it's been thirty five minutes. We would get the I ran out of my so if it got kind of loud, I ran out of my free crisp minutes. The I use a program that blocks out the background noise. Um, so <coughs> excuse me.
But also, if you guys are sticking around this long, you're not going to worry about that. I'm just trying to figure out this combo. Because at this point, if I was able to put Rex on the board at any time, I had that combo. I just... Oh, also, I'd have to destroy this token anyways, because at the end, uh, I didn't do the end of the Wyvern effect to destroy a monster on board. I'd have to destroy this. So, whatever. But you d you have you have combo-ish here. You just don't have the um, nappies. But you do have the scythe lock with uh, UCT. But essentially, that's that's just the best of it. And you'll get you'll get Barone. You just won't get the Nature Beast. So I mean, still, still not pushover, still not horrendous, um, but not amazing off of just OV. And that's why I say when I, whenever I open just, just Lost World and like um, Prosperity or the Fossil Dig, I always go for uh, Scrap Raptor because that is I know 100% full combo. Um, so yeah. Also, um, I'm gonna try to get into streaming more um, like I said I got a new PC honestly I want what I want to do is I oh, go this way so you guys can go this way I want to try and get rid of this not the not the millennium items this whole little setup thing right there in that there area because it it's cool and all I think it's cool but I want to put my PC up there. Um, to do that, I need to get some longer HDMI and DisplayPort cords, which really aren't super duper expensive. They're like maybe 10, 15 bucks a piece. I just gotta get them um, and make sure I finish the. Because I got I got an RGB controller that shorted out. Um, I don't know if that's a common issue. I got a new one coming. I also got LED strips. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be RGB'd out. Um, so yeah. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the combo. It is honestly kind of insane that Dinos in 2022 is able to do all this. Um, and it's, I'm, I'm, I can taste it. I'm so close to doing, you know, maybe 4-0, at least, at the least 3-1. And I was, the cause of David and the Cosmos, I think there was somewhere, I can't remember for sure, where there was like a pivotal point when I messed something up and I knew I lost. I just, I can't remember the exact point. I wish I were, would have recorded. I just didn't. Um, oh man. But I, I am so close I can almost taste it. Well, at least I can, I can feel it. Um, but yeah, uh, pushing, pushing dinos as far as it can go. And as you can see, I'm not running any any hand traps, nothing like that, other than ones I need coverage for. Because in the current meta, you're facing a lot of build a board, and then can you beat it? We were we were playing like this like two or three formats ago, um, and that was when I first started getting into dinos, and I wasn't so knowledgeable on beating over like getting through and beating over things that I wish I would have done that from the beginning whereas I was focusing more on trying to go first with play coverage and stuff like that um, so I guess I would focus a little bit more on the uh, you know just beating through your opponent's board because that's what we're going to be facing a lot um, instead of trying to disrupt my opponent in the middle of breaking it or building it and then all they got to do is just make sure I don't have anything else and they can beat me it's a uh, it's really a game of balance. It's a balancing act. So I think it's good. I'm not. I'm not going to change anything too crazy at the moment. Um, but we'll see how it goes. As always, if you watch all the way through, thank you. Um, we're so close to 100 subscribers. I'm at 99 right now. So like and comment, subscribe, get to that 100 subscribers. Um, I'm horrible at calling out my channel and stuff like that. I mostly just focus on the plays and stuff. Um, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you guys think. Um, and as always, I'll let you, update you guys next time in my play. Have a good day.